here's what's so amazing about her story. Along the way, this mom raises three other children, becomes a better nurse, strengthens her marriage, and deepens her faith. Yeah, please welcome Kate Jurgens, a neonatal intensive care nurse who is now the author of a very touching book. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It's, it's a great honor. Thanks. And, yes. and how do you say this? In, is it Lois Dietz? Yes, correct. Okay. Lois Dietz, named for Dr. Bart Lois, who's from Belgium and Dr. Hal Dietz, who's from Johns Hopkins University in Maryland. So the book is called Mo, a Lois Dietz Syndrome Memoir. Let's talk about why you wrote the book and who Mo is. Well, uh, I guess we'll start with Mo. Uh, Mo would be my second of my four children, uh, Maureen, uh, who's now 17. Uh, and she found out early on in life it was easier to write Mo than Maureen. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she was learning how to use her pencils and things. Um, the uh, reason I wrote the book, many fold, one to empty my head. Um, it's based on a lot of the journaling that I've done the last 17 years. The book focuses pretty much on the first 13 years of Mo's life and then kind of catches you up in the afterward to where we are now. Mm -hmm. uh, I wrote it to help other families who are going through kind of their own medical mysteries or struggling with difficult health situations. I wrote it to help me become a better nurse. As you mentioned, I was a neonatal, neonatal intensive care nurse um, at the time that Maureen was born, and it has helped me improve my nursing care as well. We're looking at these beautiful, we started with the family photo, yeah. we've looked at different pictures, starting with her being a baby, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, and then as she gets a little bit older, but in each picture yes. you can tell she has a cast on or is going through some type mm -hmm. of surgery. Yes. Um, what's, what does this disease do? What happens to a person's body or their mind? What has she gone through over the years? Well, uh, so Lois Dietz syndrome is a, a connective tissue disease uh, and a connective tissue syndrome, meaning that it pulls in just about everything. And you have connective tissue everywhere in your body. There's not a place where you don't have it. And there are several kinds of connective tissue diseases. Um, a very familiar one you may have heard of is lupus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've heard of Marfan syndrome, especially with all the Abraham Lincoln stuff going on now with the movies. Um, they think that he probably had that. Lois Dietz is, is somewhat similar to a Marfan type syndrome. Uh, it affects connective tissue disease, but specifically the makeup of uh, the arteries in the body. So not only can you form aneurysms within the aorta, which is your main artery to feed the rest of your body, but anywhere where you have an artery, you can form an aneurysm. So it could be in the abdomen. It could be in the brain. Mm. It could be in a kidney. It could be in a spleen. It could be in any of those major vessels leading there. But connective tissue is also what keeps your joints working and things like that. So when you're seeing these pictures of Mo with casts and splints, ear bandages, she lost both of her eardrums. She was born with a cleft palate. She has had several hand surgeries because her hands were fisted when she was born and we had to find a way to open them so that she could learn how to write Mo instead of worrying. Uh, she's had three spinal fusion, excuse me, spinal fusions. Um, she has one leg that's longer than another. I mean, it's connective tissues everywhere, so it's all affected. Well, I just wanted to read one thing from the book, um, because you talk about her being your rock and inspiration. I know you felt that your faith was deepened through this journey, and um, you, there was a night where you studied for her religion test before bed, and one of the questions asked her to define her faith, and she said, it's a gift from God that lets you know he's always there for you, like Peter walking on water to Jesus or the mustard seed story. Unbelievable. Uh, her faith, my, my faith, I, I won't speak for my husband or my other children, but I have had a number of people in my family, extended, included, say that their faith is extremely strengthened by her, by her faith. Um, you know, we're the Irish Catholic family. <laughs> we do the best we can, and that's really what we have relied on all of these years. And in situations like this where you are facing life and death at certain moments or questions of why and why did this happen or why us or why her or however you want to fill in that question, um, faith is really what we lean on. And some people in those situations would run from their faith and, and that's them and that maybe that's the right decision for them. For us what we found is it's, it's really deepened our faith and, and without that I don't, I don't really know where we would be. 
I think it's an amazing story and so many families that have struggled with the diagnosis because it took up to nine years before you knew what she was facing as, mm -hmm. a, as a disease. Um, you have a book signing that's coming up uh, Saturday, February 9th. Mm -hmm. People can come out to your last one just this last week was hugely successful. It's a beautiful book. It's going on from 10 to 11.30 a.m. at the Catholic Books and Gifts on 74th and Greenfield Avenue in Milwaukee. Again, the book name is Mo Aloys Dietz Syndrome Memoir. And you can learn more about Kate, her daughter, and this whole story of uh, finding out this mystery diagnosis over the years and how their faith was deepened. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank great. you a lot. It's great to meet you. Thank great. you.